if you believe that what i have to say you believe the half of islamic belief which is believe in god and the second part is you believe all the messenger god sent to guide mankind do you believe all the prophets sent by god okay if i ask you a question now imagine you just wake up in the desert suddenly wake up first question you would ask yourself why am i here what am i doing and where i'm going to go three question right and these three question require your thinking and an external support to get the answer so you believe that god exists right so do you think god created you aimlessly without any purpose there is nothing in the universe you see without any purpose everything has a purpose jacket has a purpose my shoe has a purpose right everything has a purpose even glasses has a purpose right everything has a purpose even the eyebrows has a purpose do you know what is the purpose of this do you know why if the salty water goes your eyesight it will harm your eye so it was placed rightly there so that it can protect it having said that everything has a purpose and ultimately our every every organ has a purpose you will not find a single organ in our body that has no purpose just demonstrated one right now do you think the collectively as a body as a life human do we have a purpose or we don't now that purpose question is we know there is a purpose how do we know my purpose can i tell my own purpose or do i have to rely on external entity to tell me now imagine sister imagine you make something imagine you make a machine who define the purpose you or the machine because you created it now if you know already the god has made you the creator the allah has made you then who should you set the purpose god said now we going logically right i'm not bringing quran i'm bring i'm using logic logic dic- telling us the creator should set our purpose and then he send the information that he say he said that he created this life as a test so this life is a test and the test is you have a certain amount of time you know your date of birth but you don't know when you die but at that time god allowed you with this beautiful life and he grants you provision he gives you a lot of blessings he give you reasoning you think when you cross the road you think god is asking you to reflect all of the things you have received free you don't own your eye by the way it was given you free you don't grow it you don't own it it was given you free imagine the one who given you free wanted you take back the eye would you ever complain imagine the eye side the giver of eye side said okay i have given you enough 20 years of service have given every you didn't give no money nothing i want to take it back would you ever complain why not because it doesn't belong to you it was given as a favor now just think about i side even if i give you all the money of the bank i'm sure you'll not be able to exchange it you'll not be exchanging your eye with the money right just think about the grand scale of your life and blessing that god given you he doesn't want money from you he doesn't want any any uh, direct debit from you he doesn't want your inheritance right what does he want acknowledge firstly you acknowledge the maker right then when i give you something if i if sister gives you a oranges what would you say to her thank you why did you say thank you show gratitude 
So all your life, you need to show that gratitude to a creator. How should I show gratitude? To obey, to become obedient to the creator. If you are obedient, then you are you're done. Because whatever he say, you are obedient. So we believer, we say, Sami'una wa ata'ana. Means we listen and obey. Because we have to listen to it. Because he's my maker. And then, by default, the creator, he's all-knowing. He's all-powerful. He's all-seeing. He's all-hearing. Can I have that same attribute? No way even comparable to it. Can I see everything? No. Can I hear everything? No. So no way we cannot comprehend. So therefore, God knows why he created us. Now imagine, let's say, sister, you don't want to worship God. What will happen? Firstly, you'll be ungrateful. But do you want to be an ungrateful person in your life? Right? Because it doesn't go with how you behave. So why not be grateful to the friends and your maker as well? In that way, you cover both areas. You know, often in this current society, everyone is good to each other. They're trying to be good to each other. Right? We try to help our friends and family. But when it comes to the Creator, the source of all blessings and all goodness, we tend to reject the right of God. Means we don't want to give that gratitude. We don't want to be submit to God and listen to God. Are we really grateful then? No. So simply, my sister, so God sent messenger to tell us about purpose. And he, they showed a certain way of life you should lead. And this is God approved. Mean God commissioned them to be a, a tour guide for us. This life is a tour happening for us. Because why? It's a short term. How many years? 50 years, 60 years. Just like we get a tour guide wherever any country we go, right? Just think about on the sight of God, this life is very temporary. And then the tour guide are the messenger. Now, if you don't have a tour guide, what will happen? If you go to a new place, what will happen? You lost. So, my sister, God sent messenger so that we follow messenger correctly and we don't follow other people. Why? They don't know what is the purpose or they don't know what to do because they are no, the information comes from God. Any questions so far? Right. I can let me give you a copy of the Quran. You got one. We are here every day. But let me give you one book and then I think you'll be that. Not much. Just giving you two books. That will be total comprehensive information about the life of the messengers and how we should follow them as a role model. And this is one of the interesting um, last sermon of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So, have a read through, you know. If you have any question, we are here, you know. Anyway, look after yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.